We told you all about this Brandy interview that we did yesterday <laughs> after the show. A lot of people do interviews and they ask like the same questions that you hear. Maybe we went and strayed off of that path, you yeah. know, and ask like other things to try to talk about her family and get more out of it. Yeah. You know, maybe try to get more than just the regular generic answers that she's been giving. Mm hmm. So you'll get to hear it and judge for yourself. Let's get into it. All right. So um, now <laughs> I got to ask you this. So I was doing my brandy research, right? Mm -hmm. And there's some guy named C. Dove that's like your half brother. Do you know this guy? Who? C. Dove. He's like going to be a rapper now. I have one brother. That's oh. Ray J. Well, he so, said that he's your half brother. I I don't even know who this guy is. I, I heard about that too, and I'm like, yeah, what? he made a, he made a record or something. He did a sexy yeah. can I remix because he claims he like did? he has no relationship with you, but he claims he ran into Ray J and he's Ray fully J in support of your career. Well, I have no idea who that is, and no. he even has a picture like shaking Ray J's hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we know MySpace. each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know him. Oh, okay, I think she did, was awkward about her half brother, her bastard half brother. I think that was awkward <laughs> for her. That might have been a problem. But he's older than them, so it was C before Dove. mom. See, Dove. I feel honored to have you on the show. Thank you. You know, her album just came out yesterday. Human. Working hard, grinding hard. Yeah. You worked so hard while you were on Moesha that you actually had that um, collapse from exhaustion at some point. Um, wow, you're really bringing up the past, aren't you? Well, yeah. You know, you're working <laughs> Why hard. do you guys do that? Like, right, let me ask, past. like, why do you guys, like, that's, like, so important to bring up people's past. Like, especially, like, if you're out, you know, in the public eye, that's, like, a, a big thing for everybody to talk about, like, people's downfalls. Like, I don't I, really look at that as a downfall. Or not not a downfall, but, like... A misstep kind of thing? Or just yeah, like, really like, a misstep. That's like, I'm, like, 29. You know yeah. what I mean? That was when I was, like, a kid. Like, I just... But that was a huge part of your life. A lot of people know you, you know, from that show, from working really hard, as you did... You know, and I'm sure Let's that... Let's talk about the good times on Moesha, though. Oh, okay. Like we'll talk really about the good, good times. times. I mean, six seasons, right? Long six, time. Yeah, yeah, six seasons. And, like, I mean, we just had a blast, like, to be able to, you know, play a, a young African-American girl that's on television to inspire other young girls. Yeah, to, we said that. We said be, with the Nickelodeon that you kind of set the tone for all of that. But, I mean, like, with Moesha, like, she was really, like, she was without her mom. She, you know, had a dad that, you know, looked out for her as well as a stepmom and a brother and she was very, very smart. Like, she was a straight-A student, and, like, she just really had it going on. So I, I think that that's what I would rather celebrate than the the behind-the-scenes of, you know, what can happen if you work too hard, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about your new album? Um, what are your expectations for that? I try not to expect because I think if you don't get what you expect, it you know, you, you, you're more disappointed. So I just want whatever whatever's meant to be to be you know I'm just letting life come to me as it is I just want whoever buys it or whoever hears it I want them to feel me and where I was coming from and just be able to you know embrace me as a person <laughs> we should have expectations 